Okay. Third time's a charm. Let's look for something good. See what we get. Caesar's Palace! Let's go with more gambling! So, last two were a pair of Mahjong games, which are all about gambling. And now we have Western-style gambling, so why not? Also, this sure is a tune that is playing. I have no idea if you guys can hear that or not. It is actually really quiet. Very amused by this display, though. <laughs> Alright. So let's go see which... Oh, oh lordy, it's one of... Okay, so yeah, this is basically a straight-up port of, like, the Caesar's Palace games for Super NES, and, um... Oh. <laughs> Whoops. And, uh, Genesis. Which makes sense, I just did not expect it to be quite this exactly the same. Wow, literally is identical. So, uh, that would mean we have slots, we have blackjack, we have kino, we have poker, we have video poker, we have uh, red dog, and... Um, it's weird, there's some... Oh, well, craps, and roulette, and... Yeah, um, well, that'll be the VIP section. There we go, roulette. Is it? No, I think. Craps? What is this? Okay, craps. Uh, I don't want to be playing craps. I don't care for craps. Leave game. There we go. Roulette. Now to find out how random I... Oh, look. <laughs> oh, that square grid. <laughs> Lovely. Let's find out how randomized the selection is. Okay, 16 red. How long is this thing in a spin for? Okay, so, 16 red. Will it re-randomize, or is it set? It re-randomized! Oh dear. <laughs> so there goes that get-rich-quick scheme. Straight left, and go. Alright, so, leaving that. Let's go upstairs and see what they have. I did play this for a while on Super NES when I was bored and just maxed out the money by, um, and this is the thing where it tells me the area is reserved for high rollers. There it is. Kino! This should be hopefully slightly less randomized. Let's mark off two. And, well, actually, I think we do have to mark off all 15.
Oh, or just ten. Okay. How do, how do I... How do I submit the card? How do I say, yes, I'm done? There's only so many buttons on this thing. <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. Now we just wait for... Oh! Didn't even have to wait. Alright, so what we want to do is switch that, load that, and remember what some of those six, seventeen, eighteen, thirty-nine. Six, seventeen, eighteen, thirty-nine. Let's just see if we can submit a card with less than ten. And those are also randomized. So this actually manages to be a better game, a better gambling game than the Super NES version was, because this one cannot be uh, cheated, it looks like. Also, it doesn't look like this one has Red Dog. play when there's not a, um, person manning the table. Did not expect that to be a thing. So we'll go back down to the, uh, cheap tables. This will be blackjack. Hmm. Seems like there should be a way to What? No 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 no. That's not what I meant. I wanted it a bit higher. No, I don't want insurance. So of course I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I think I'm still putting them down 25 at a time, so sure. That'll be good. Stop at sixteen, though. Okay. You're betting. Every penny we have. We will either double our money or walk out broke. Keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Alright, 
So that's the button for stand. I don't want to double the bet though. I just... What is the button to hit? So I guess this works on some crazy rules where you can only get another card if you bet more money. Which... What? <laughs> so I guess I'm standing at 12. Oh, there we go. You hit once to say, I'm betting, or I'm not betting more, and then you hit a different button to say either stand or hit. And I guess if you go over 16 or hit 16 or more, then it auto stands, I guess. Hooray! We won all the muns. It <laughs> wasn't that fun. So yeah, no. <laughs> this has been Caesar's Palace, and I gotta say, for a Game Gear version of just a direct port of <laughs> what was on Super NES and Genesis, this is honestly good. This has all but one of the games that I can remember, because I remember Red Dog was definitely one of the games you could play in that you could also do normal uh, in-person poker, or you could do these uh, video pokers down here. And I suppose we should play one round of slots and one round of video poker. And just like any other video game or real-life thing, you should never ever play a slot machine. They are garbage. Yes, they will eventually win out, or pay out, but the odds are just so stacked against you that, in general... Um, did I just... how much did I win just now? <laughs> That's kind of amusing slash ironic, but yeah. Well, it's exit out and yeah we won a whole 25 bucks <laughs> yep mm hmm sure we will hold on to these and yeah, right I suppose we have to actually make a wager first, and... Well, okay, let's... Let's see if we can get either a jack or... Nope! <laughs> yep, we get nothing for one pair, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah! Uh, this is a, uh, again, this has been Caesar's Palace. Again, surprisingly good for a Game Gear port of a thing from the bigger consoles, but it's still just a gambling game. There's only so much you can get out of this kind of thing, and, you know, don't know if I would recommend, if you are looking for a Caesar's Palace experience, that I really would recommend the Bigger Brother versions still. There's better music, better graphics, more games available, and, you know, just stuff and whatnot like that. Also, there are character events of people you can talk to, and, you know, there are random things that can trigger, so a little bit more fun with that. But, um, yeah. Again, if you're looking for a handheld gambling experience, this one is perfectly suitable. So, that said, I think we're about done with this one. Alright, what else do we have in Texas Holding Poker? Okay, this will be brief. For a brief moment, I was really hoping it would be the Telltale version. Because uh, the very first Telltale game released 
before they got into their whole adventure game and uh, episodic story stuff was a Telltale, er, tell, yeah, Telltale Poker, Holden Poker game, and it was amazingly terrible. Get ready to play some Texas Hold'em! Yeah, see, the first Telltale Poker game was not Poker Night at the Inventory. It was literally just called, I think, Telltale Hold'em Poker? Or Telltale Texas Hold'em or something like that. And it featured, like, I think it was released in 2005 or so. So, hand is okay, I will call. Telltale Texas Holder, thank you. And, um, yeah. yeah I want away from a nice uh, diamond flush, so yeah. But yeah, tell Telltale Texas Holder was. Absolutely garbage. The turn is hmm. This is not going well. The river is. Hey, there we go. Takes the pot. Nice. Well, that's pretty garbage. But you never know. It was worth sticking around just for the fun of it. Woohoo! We have a pair of threes! The turn is! And also, you know. Oh, well, I was gonna say three fifths of another flush, but that tosses that out of the window. I'm betting it all that I can in this amazingly limited format. The river is! Well. Suddenly we have two bears, so, you know. Two pair wins the pot. Yay. And that's all I care to play of this. Let's just see what the other modes are. Quick play, one table tournament, yep. It's about as expected. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute. Twenty thousand dollars. Get ready to play some is it still $5 bets? Okay, good. It's not $5 bets anymore. Just had to be sure. <laughs> Dang it. And it's identical. Get ready to play some Texas Hold'em! And apparently I start with only $250 for some reason. I guess that's just when you start a career, you start with next to no money. The flop is Yep, I'm holding that because I don't think is. anything good will come out of that. Unless that's a seven, in which case I'll be annoyed. The river is. Okay, good. So Three yeah. The kind takes the <laughs> this has been Texas Hold'em Poker. It's exactly what it's been. It's been a very bland and boring Texas limit Texas Hold'em Poker game, which I would not recommend in the least. 
Yeah, no. Totally down here. What else do we have in here? Tanimura Hitoshi Ryu. Pachinko! Oh boy, it's a pachinko game. Koryaku Daisaksen Don Quixote Ga Iku. What? Okay, let's go play a Don Quixote pachinko game. Pachinko 7. I'm really very curious how they are... Do... Don't they have, like, a gambling age in Japan, too? Can any kid just wander into a pachinko gambling parlor and just plunk down at a Don Quixote? First one is with normal play. Real-time advice. <laughs> Lively. And something something pachinko something. Oh my god, it's a quiz game. Why is it a quiz game? What? <laughs> Story. Story that involves Pachinko. And story's over. So this is apparently story time mode. I uh, what? confused. I thought this would just be a regular pachinko game. Why does it jump from 38 to 50? Bad slot machine. What? I I skipped over some kind of cutscene. I don't know what happened there, but no, I I I, I wish to not. Oh, how did we get to 65? I think these are stats for the different machine. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I don't even...
Alright, so we just traded in for Jingle Balls, I think? Oh, good. Okay, so that's somebody else who is not us, apparently. I, I, I don't know, I, I legitimately do not know. <laughs> this has been a game with an excessively long title. And, yeah. It's been a quiz game, and a slot machine game, and a storybook game. <laughs> and, um... Yeah, wow. I don't even know. Not recommended, and we are amazingly done here. Okay. <laughs> let's try to find something that's actually good, shall we? Pachinko Hisho Guide, Data no Ozama. Really thought I had gotten through all the Pachinko games already, but apparently there's more Pachinko to Pachink. Let's go. So, those are sure some people <laughs> represented there. I would assume they're caricatures of particular people, but it's hard to say. So we have database as the first choice. So we, we, we gotta find what's in a pachinko database? Lots of stuff. Um, God. Yeah, we're gonna skip all that data. We have pachinko game or story. We gotta go with the database because I hit the wrong button. We gotta go with the story. So, pachinko densetsu. Oh god. So that was Parlor Legend for the name of this Pachinko Gambling Corner. And we're starting at what looks like a dojo. Like a Kendo dojo or a Karate Dojo or something. <laughs> I don't know why I went to the story. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to actually understand it. But yeah, apparently there's maps and treasure and things that can be discovered by playing pachinko across the nation. So that's kind of humorous. How much money? I have 30,000! What? Am I starting with 30,000? If I have 30,000, can't I just, like, you know, go rent the things I would need? Or go pay someone else to play the pachinko nonsense for me? So, um... <laughs> yeah, this absolutely is Pachinko! No denying that. I'm using left and right to control the, um, strength that the balls are flying out at. I don't know which of these things we're trying to be aiming for. Yeah, it's Pachinko. I mean, what the hell else did we expect? And yeah, if you just play it without the story, it's just the Pachinko machine. <laughs> Fair enough. 
I don't know what that was about, but um, I, I assume I want to get. Oh, can I change anything? I apparently can change nothing. It is already locked into that set of numbers, so that seemed utterly pointless. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, this has been another freaking crap-ass pachinko game. I don't know what it is with Japan and pachinko games. Maybe it's much more thrilling if you're actually sitting there at a machine wasting your money. But, yeah, this, this is just not for me. So, <laughs> yeah, um, this has been Pachinko Hisho Guide Data No Osama. And I'll be amazingly happy when I am done with all the pachinko games in my little corner of the uh, gaming world. So, you know, one more down, and we're completely done here. <laughs>